Go ahead. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. Hey, you seem awfully torn up over Bobby. Was there something between you? Nah, nothing like that. I just hate seeing guys like me use their sway to do that kind of harm. Hell, that sort of pulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd used to keep people in line. Every so often he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. Wasn't there anyone who could have helped? Who knows? Maybe. Honestly, we were all so terrified we couldn't bring ourselves to move until it was over, let alone get help. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, Got organized. Convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware. Got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins. Started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. You don't actually think the clothes of John Hammond. Nah, I, I just felt... You know, a connection. It seemed like he and I were dealing with the same shit. Serious oppression. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. And burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house. Wrapped a rope around his neck, and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. You fought so hard to become mayor. Why leave? I ain't really the ponderous type. When an instinct takes hold, I listen. This time around, instinct said I should join up with you. Seems it was a good one. I just hope you get where I was. coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? Heads up. I take rec- What's up? Your thoughts? You got nothing to worry about with me. Your thoughts? There's no sport to spill in blood if the person- Your thoughts? You just say the word if you wanna take a little- Chem break. Your thoughts? Not a lot of folks would travel with a ghoul, even one with my kind of crew. Your thoughts? Reliable guns or. Oh, nothing. Gotcha. Heads up. Hmm? Need something, sister? I just wanted to know how we're doing. I ain't thinking about skipping out on you, if that's what you're asking. Not yet, at least. I was wondering where you and I stand. Seems like we're all right from where I'm standing. Just wanted to check in. Make sure we're doing okay. Hey, I ain't hard to please. You and me, we're fine. That was all I had. Fine by me.
Hey. I take requests. Hey. This say So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. Oh yeah? What kind of doubts? You kidding me? You look like you'd fallen out of the vault that day. I thought I'd see you picking your teeth out of the gutter by sunup. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened to Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it, you got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. You and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh yeah. Guy's my brother. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was the standard big brother. Entitled. Punchy. Liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. Just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there. But I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. He never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. Wait. What do you mean, you didn't recognize him? I don't know. Just didn't seem like the guy I grew up with. When I'd first heard the rumors, he'd been swapped for a synth. Thinking back on that night, I thought it made a lot of sense. But now? I don't know. I don't think I buy it. I've seen him since then, and there's no way they copied him that perfectly. Even got his tight-ass walk. But at the time, I just needed to get the hell away from him. Him and that whole damn city. Of all the things I've seen since leaving the vault, this seems almost merciful. Sure. No one got beheaded. At first. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent chems, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there. But most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were, who couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is and is willing to do something about it. It's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of competition for the post. You ain't lying. It's awful lonely for us folks at the top. Well, thanks for hearing me out. You probably weren't looking for a history lesson, were ya? You wanna hit the road? Whoa, whoa. No ghouls in Diamond City. Heads up. What Get you got? Out of here. Hancock. For you? I got time. 
Your thoughts? Not a lot of folks would tr Your thoughts? This beats me or... I just wanted to know how we're doing. What can I say? I like the way you operate. Is everything okay between us? I feel like we're seeing eye to eye. An extended eye contact with the ghoul ain't for the faint of heart. I was wondering where you and I stand. Seems to me like you're my kind of trouble. Just wanted to check in. I'm thinking we got a good thing going here. Why? You ain't skipping out on me, are you? That was all I had. Yeah, sure. My friends say outside is smell, but you don't smell at all. 